Okay guys, welcome to the workshop. It's like deja vu in the workshop. We got knives. Today I was on my way home and I got behind this guy with a truckload of knives. At this time of year, they drive around selling knives and farm stuff and rakes and garden holes and all the farmer stuff. But they always have the cool knives. So I got in front of this guy and <laughs> made him stop and went shopping. I went through and picked out what I liked. And then I walked away and let the boss negotiate the price. Which she didn't do very good. The guy was pretty set on his prices. Uh, buying off the back of a truck, that's the most expensive way to buy anything around here. For obvious reasons, you know. The guy's driving around and costs him a fortune to do so. But I got a few cool knives out of it. And we'll go through, like the last time, I'll show the knife and put the price on the screen. Uh, on like the last time, what you see is what there is. Once they're sold, they're gone. I won't be able to find these again probably until next year. And uh, even if then, they're hard to find. Uh, I do have one similar uh, in my own little collection. Looks like this, but it's at least this big. It's bigger than this, but it looks like this one. Uh, these come with the sheath. The sheath is nothing special. The sheath's okay. The snap. These snaps on here are nothing. Uh, they work, but uh, a little hard to get open. Every time I go open one, I feel like I'm going to break it. Yeah, it doesn't want to open. So that's that's something to consider. Uh, the sheath is nothing special, but really it's just the snap. The sheath itself is okay. Okay, let's get to it. I have uh, the old cleaver. This is cool, man. Look at the shape of that, huh? That is a nice knife. Again, these are all made in the same village in Northwest Thailand. Uh, handmade, there's no two the same. This is in two pieces, it looks like it's welded down, it was welded on. This one comes with a sticker. Cool knife, feels nice. Feels really nice. Now I know I, I messed up the, I should have got this a month ago, but you know, I was busy a month ago. Kind of missed the Christmas deal, but if you're going to buy your wife a big ugly knife, you better buy her something sparkly in the next gift or you're going to have problems. Look at this cool thing. I've never seen these before. It's similar to the one the Eskimos use, uh, which they do have here too. I've seen uh, market people use them. The ones selling meat in the market, but they have like a T anode that comes out right here and they rock back and forth in more of an aft circle. This is freaking cool, man. Never used one like it before, but that's a knife. Look at that. That's some steel. This, I don't know what kind of steel these are, but this is leaf spring, I'm pretty sure, like the machetes. Uh, these two here are both seven inches mm, wooden handles. The two, these two are the same, just different color handle. Look at that, huh? Can you believe that's handmade? These guys are good. I tell you what. Look at that, huh? Ah, sharp, but not that sharp. But beautiful, look at that. Again, same knife. Different handle. Seven inch, well it even, it even says so on here. These are all the same idea, this one. I can't see the number. It's either 9 or 10 inches. Look at that, huh? 
got the little string on here. I don't know. That's not paracord. I don't know what that is. Steel goes all the way through. For people that make knives themselves, this would be the one to copy, you know? If you could copy this, you'd have to have yourself something. That is a knife, let me tell you. It's nearly a machete. I say this one is a machete. This is a 12 inch knife. And was a little bit different. Eh, same idea. Goes straight through. That is a piece of steel. Look how thick that is. That's cool. I'm looking at this and these notches are offset. I don't know if that's on purpose or not. But just look at that. Beauty, look at that. Huh? I can say there's only one. If you want it, grab it. When she's gone, she's gone. Beauty, beauty, beauty. I really do need to get to this village that makes these, that's for sure. Look at that, huh? Let's look at that. That is something else. Well, that's it, guys. Uh, I do have some other stuff. I'll show you that. Now, ah, if you bought some of this stuff for your wife, she'd be happy. Look at that, huh? This is... You see this one? It's a sticky rice tub. That's what they put sticky rice in here. And it stays good all day. This, you know, yeah, they use them just like this. But it's a great souvenir thing to put stuff in. I got the little ones. No, that's not the little one. These are the little ones. Look at that! <laughs> How cool is that? Huh? Single serving. Actually, I've had sticky rice in restaurants in just like this. But I got these here. Look at these guys. Now this is weaved bamboo made by hand. By somebody. I've seen, I've been actually going to do a video. There's a couple of old men around here that make these. That would be a cool video. How they make these. Look at this one. Huh? Yeah, you could put your sticky rice in there, but you could buy your sweets, some sweets, put it in the old sticky rice tub. Oh, you'd be laughing. Look at that. How cool is that, huh? Look at that. Uh, what else I got? It is possible to get this stuff again. Slingshot. These, they actually use, use these there all the time. This is... Half the farmers around here got one of these in their pocket most of the time. A lot of times they make them, but you know, piece of rubber. This, I think that's a piece of leather. I think normally they use a piece of a motorbike tube. And this one, if you've ever been to Thailand, you've seen something similar. This is for good luck. Hang it over your door. Right, this is a, like a fish trap, the old style fish trap. I got a huge one in front of my house. They're everywhere. <laughs> don't see them used for catching fish very often anymore, but they're used for display, for uh, hanging in front of your house for good luck. So that's pretty cool. I have no idea what it says, but I'm sure it's something nice. And that's about it. That stuff will all also be listed on the on the site soon. Soon-ish. That's that's so cool, man. I hope people can make that, you know, it's total talent. And you put your sticky rice in here. Cool, huh? All right, guys, well, that's it. Another shopping trip done. <laughs> like I say, this stuff, probably I could get it again. This this market comes back twice a month. The knives, when they're gone, they're gone. 
So if you see something you like, grab it. You will be the lucky one. Cool, huh? Alright guys, as always, thanks for watching.